Hello and welcome, I'm Izzy Souza and I'm here to help you get started with Impressionist Oils on Painter 2022. This is a simple but effective tutorial that will show you how to do a loose painting with an impressionistic twist. Before anything, I recommend that you watch my other tutorial, Oil Brushes Overview, where you will learn the difference between the oil categories here on Painter 2022 and the overall main settings and qualities for these brushes. So who can benefit from this video? Artists who are new to Painter, artists who would like to start using digital oil brushes but don't have experience, and experienced artists who like seeing different approaches. In this short class, you will be playing with the amazing blendability of Painter's oil brushes and the gorgeous luminosity of the colors of the general oils category. Our workflow is aimed to be extremely simple and effective. We will use Leonardo da Vinci's concept that says less is more. On the brush library, go to the category oils, general. There, the first three brushes are the ones we will use. Impressionist classic. Each brush stroke will render as multiple strokes. It's greatly responsive to tilting and direction something that reminds of Van Gogh's paintings. Impressionist cover. As the name suggests, it's meant to block out or cover large areas. It adds a slight variation in value when you do continuous brush strokes and it has a subtle pastel touch. You can also use it for full paintings where you would like to achieve a cleaner look, such as the work of Gustave Calebot. Impressionist detail. As the name suggests, this one is great to paint details, but it's not restricted to it. The colors are slightly colder and more vibrant, and it has a great liquid quality to it. Notice how you can change the shape of a brush stroke by adding strokes coming from other directions. This is due to its liquid, highly blendable quality. For the Impressionist cover, to make gradients, use brush strokes in opposite directions. To blend more, decrease the saturation and your brush stroke begins blending the underlying colors and adding the new color more strongly at the end of the brush stroke. And this is basically how we apply these on this quick study. So let's get started. Tip: Whenever you are going to do a study, you can choose to simply portray the subject as it is, or you can also compose something else with it, creating a new subject. I use both approaches. For this tutorial, I use the mobile phone snapshot of these flowers and compose the reference very quickly, put together here on Painter by simply cropping and pasting bits of these two flowers, erasing some areas and adding some huge, um, quick sergeant brush, brush strokes at the background. I finish with a color layer, set to overlay mode and low opacity to give the overall yellowish tint. There is no finesse here, but it is enough to serve as our subject. So now take a print screen of our reference. Let's have it open here at all times so you can see how the technique and brushwork builds up in the painting comparing to the subject. I recommend that if you are inexperienced or if you want to do a fast study due to busy schedule, which is in my case when doing this tutorial, paint on a one-to-one -one scale. Tip. You can do a quick drawing to serve as a guide if you want to. For me, I prefer painting directly without it. So select the Impressionist cover. We do the color gradients in a background first, using a large try to simply find what you think is approximate in the color wheel. My tip is that for each color you think first of hue, where in the color wheel you think the hue is located. Then think of value. How light or dark is it in a scale? And last, how saturated? If you are less experienced, you may need several attempts, but remember this, it doesn't need to be perfect, for each person has a different perception for color. The more paintings you do using this process, the more familiar and spot on you will be in recognizing color value. Continuing, here is my gradient. Now, let's do the vase.
Because this painting is very simple, fast, effective and loose, let's paint the leaves. Feel free and carefree when adding paint, remember to do color variations from hot to cold greens and dark to light tones. All rough, but it's quite effective in giving us an effect of light and shadow. Here, it is important to have an understanding of the shape, but all the while having fun, keeping it loose and expressive. It can work on one layer or multiple. For these kinds of quick studies and practices, I prefer to use only a few layers. When I say quick, I mean mostly in terms of the work quality. Our idea here is to be economic and simple, so take your time. Of course, if you are more experienced, this will also um, go quicker in terms of how many minutes or hours you are spending on a work. Now, done with the leaves, let's make some flowers. We keep the process simple and effective. Because of this, let's do the shapes for the roses, just with a few variations in color and value. Then we add in some shadows. Notice how these shadows are just mid-tones. The last, some highlights. For these spiky flowers, which unfortunately I don't remember the name, I particularly find it better to do all the shapes first without a color variation. They have a higher range of value variation than the roses, but we keep it simplified. Once all shapes are done, notice how we add in some basic shadows, and these are red in a slightly dark mid-tones. Then we add in some darker shadows, and last but not least, some highlights. If you prefer a clean look to your loose paintings, then you have come to the end of the process. Here is how it looks. However, if you would like to add an extra expressive look and amplify um, the impressionistic feel, then select the impressionist classic brush and apply any color that you fancy on low opacity layer. In this case, this light blue is what I go for. You can do some variations, as example, some darker tones too, or color variations. I use several, such as orange, magenta, lilac, and I finish with yellow, where the light strikes as overall highlights. And this is how it looks. There you are, you have learned how to do a loose painting study with an impressionistic twist in a simple, effective and fast workflow. I encourage you to apply what you have learned to new studies of your preference and also using other brushes of Painter 2022 oil categories. Happy painting! Painter and I, thank you for watching, bye bye!